Hi everyone, quite a few people ask about mixing titanium dioxide so you don't get those horrible little like blobby little white bits in your soap. So I'm just going to show you how I mix mine. First of all, when you've got your titanium dioxide, make sure you're happy what type of titanium dioxide that you've got. Your soap supplier or wherever you get your titanium dioxide from should tell you whether it's water or oil soluble or some of them are actually both. So you can perhaps see with my titanium dioxide, mine, I'm lucky, mine is actually water or oil soluble. You might want to play around with both types of titanium dioxide to see which one works better for you. I personally like using oil for my titanium dioxide because it stops you adding extra water into your soap. And quite often people talk about glycerin rivers and how these happen with TD. Um, glycerin rivers happen when you have lots of water in your soap and you combine that with a higher temperature. So therefore, for me, if I'm adding titanium dioxide, I want to not add any extra water into my soap. So that's why I go for the oil-soluble version of titanium dioxide. But as I said, play around, see which one works best for you. So it's always best to pre-mix your titanium dioxide. Um, now, by pre-mix, a lot of people do mix their colours just before they add them into the soap. The thing is with titanium dioxide is because it's, it's quite a light, lumpy item, it's got quite a big sort of grain size as it were, so therefore it doesn't mix very easily. So therefore making a bottle of titanium dioxide up and keeping that with the rest of your colours is a really brilliant thing to do because then it's always ready and you know you can then mix it really really well. If you're mixing up a batch of TD, you can get it mixed so much better than if you're just mixing up maybe a teaspoon or something. Okay, so what I do is I have a few things. So I have a little bottle like this. Um, now, this isn't my actual bottle. I've just got a new one out just to show this. Now, mine's only a little bottle because I only make maybe one soap a week, if that. I'm not majorly making loads and loads of soap. So just a little bottle. The other reason why I've chosen this bottle is because it fits perfectly in. I've got a little box that has all my colorants in it and it fits perfectly. Um, in there and it's just a bottle that I received um, I think I see, received some sodium lactate in it or something so I always reuse my bottles so I have a little bottle and then also I have some stainless steel bulbs now these are brand new bulbs that um, I had and I've made sure they're nice and clean now you can use ball bearings and you will find that people do actually sell these titanium dioxide bottles but they're basically just a bottle with some ball bearings in them so just make it yourself you know get if you've got stainless steel bolts then perfect um, use those if you've got ball bearings brilliant okay but yeah you don't need to be spending lots and lots of money on buying a, a bottle um, just make it up yourself and then to make up um, if you're doing water soluble it's probably more straightforward because for example this is a 250 ml bottle and you know therefore it will hold 250 ml of water so that's um, nice and easy because water the volume of water is say is the same isn't it um, as its weight so one gram and will be the same um, that you need you know when you're dealing with your um, water versus your weights versus your measurement as it were oil slightly differently so therefore what you might want to do, and you don't have to do this the very first time that you do this, is, here's my bottle, I'm just going to check to see how much oil it actually holds. Now I'm not going to fill it completely to the top because obviously I'm going to put titanium dioxide in here, so I'm just filling it up to that little line, that's quite good for me. And... That's come to 213 grams. Now, I know that a tablespoon of olive oil weighs 15 grams. Okay, so therefore, if I do my 213, divide that by 15, I know that I've basically got 14 tablespoons of olive oil in there. Hey, your water, um, again, you can do the same thing weigh out a tablespoon of water. I'm sure there's somewhere on the internet that tells you how much a tablespoon of water um, weighs. So now I know how much oil I've got and that's 14 tablespoons. 
So what I want to do is now mix it all together. Now you can use um, any old blender, um, and I think this is really good because the more that you're mixing up, then the better you're going to get it mixed and combined together. So I use one of these Nutribullet things, and I've got just one of my little cups I just keep for doing this. Um, to be honest, titanium dioxide is used in things like food stuffs and that, so not as if it's a really toxic ingredient or anything anyway. So I know I've got 14 net grams, so I want, the rate I want to do is, effectively you want to mix a one to three rate. So I want one teaspoon of titanium dioxide to three teaspoons of um, oil or water if you're using water. Now, one teaspoon is the same as one tablespoon. Okay, so that's why I just said, right, I've got 14 tablespoons of oil in there, so I want 14 teaspoons of titanium dioxide. So, I'm going to just measure that out. Now, I'm going to put some of my oil in the bottom there so the TD doesn't all stick on the bottom and pop in my 14 spoons one two okay so I've measured all 14 spoons out I didn't obviously let, make you watch me measuring those out I'm now going to pop in the rest of my oil And as you can see, what I've got is I've got quite a nice amount there, so I can give it a really good blend. So, squeeze my top on, and say you could do this with your stick blender, some sort of other blender that you've got, and now I'm just going to blitz it together. I'm hoping that when I edit this, I can get rid of this sound, so um, hopefully that will have disappeared. <laughs> seconds or so but you can always just check it can't you and go back again I'm just a nice little shake and now you can see it's all nicely blended together now what you will find especially with the oil one is at this stage it's really quite sort of thick and um, gloopy um, but that does actually thin down so I'm just gonna I use a funnel, it's just easier. Just going to get your funnel now and you're just going to then pop it into your bottle. Doesn't matter if there's, you can see I had a little bit of oil left in my bottle where I didn't, you know, where a bit was stuck around the side. That's fine because it's all going to just mix in later. So into your bottle. And then obviously you can scrape all that stuff into your funnel as well. Now as I said you can see it's really quite thick and gloopy at the moment. The water one um, will be a little bit thinner. I'm just going to balance that out of the way. Now I've got my existing titanium dioxide um, so what I literally do is, this is my you know normal one I've got made up, um, once you've put the titanium dioxide in there just literally open the top and plop your three or however many bolts, three is fine you only got two, that's perfect as well. And then each time you use it, you just want to give it a good shake. I'm just not going to shake it too hard because obviously that would be annoying with the sound. But give it a really, really, really good shake. <laughs> I'm just trying to get away from the camera a bit. And then you can see, and you can just use it. Look, and you can see it's just a nice consistency when you actually come to use it. And using it... I typically use about one teaspoon of titanium dioxide per pound of oils. So if you're using it at that rate, you'll want to measure out one tablespoon of your diluted titanium dioxide for your colouring. I do find is when I've mixed mine up like this, because it's blitzed so well together, I don't even have to stick blend my titanium dioxide in. I take my batter to sort of um, a light trace, well just past emulsion normally, and then I just literally um, stir it in with a spatula, um, and because it's blitzed so much together here, I never get any streaks, any lumps, any bumps, and um, uh, it works really well. So, hopefully you found that 
um, helpful. Um, one thing is about the water one, I must admit I don't use the water base, but you can do it in exactly the same method. And it's best with the water one to mix it with some warm um, slash slightly hot water. It then does tend to disperse a little bit better.